as you go looking for food, you're going to find different types of pictures. And um, not all of them are good for what we're doing here today. So I went to the internet and I was looking for enchiladas and I got some pictures and when I open them up, Photoshop shows me a representation of their actual size. You'll notice that this picture is rather small on the screen and up here by its name it's showing 100%. If I go to image, I have a control called image size that tells me it's true size. It really is physically small, two and a half inches by three and a half inches and its resolution is quite low. So as I click zoom in, let's go 200%, 300%, 400%, it's not your imagination. It is starting to blur. The pixels are starting to smear. You can't make a picture like this big with the transform tool and keep it looking clear. For what we're doing today, you're going to want something on a plate, something that's round, I haven't tried it with something that's rectangular, but I think you could because I made a selection of pizza on a plate and I copied it. It's not perfectly round, but when I paste it on the table, it's looking pretty good. Now, um, as I get it to fit the table, I'm having trouble seeing, so I'm going to use the eyeball to turn off the drinks and the cake. So I'm just looking at the pizza, but I'm going to keep that pizza layer selected. You can see that it's lighter than the rest. And the first thing I'm going to do is shrink it a little bit, not completely. Edit Transform Scale. And I'm going to use the finger under the height control and bring it down about... 50% and check. Click OK. Now it looks like it's sitting on the edge of the plate standing straight up in the air. So basically I have to lay it down on the table and for this I'm going to use a control called distort. All of these things do different things. I want you to try them out at your own will but I've done this before and this is one has had the best results and you want to use it by carefully switching from the left to the right. You don't want to go all the way down. You can, but it works out easier for you if you do it one at a time. I think I might have gotten a little too enthusiastic there. All right, and then we're going to lay that plate down, check. Once it's on the table, you can move it around. And you just need one good plate. And then you're going to use the right click control of your mouse to select duplicate layer. And you're going to make enough plates for the table. I, I don't know that, if you, that you need a plate for every single person. I'm going to put. I, I, I like them to be a little bit big so that you can see what's on the plate. And then now we're going to turn on the drinks and turn on the cake. This is a complete table and it is large on the image, right? It's not as big as the whole picture, but basically I don't have a lot of black on the bottom. I have about uh, maybe an inch or so right? Keep it big. You want to take all of these layers and select them by holding, selecting the first one and holding the shift key on your keyboard, selecting the last one and clicking the folder at the bottom of the layer window. This is going to create group one, which is the whole table and everything in the table. There it is. It's all together. And you're going to double click label it table and this is where you want to take your screenshot ladies and gentlemen for your quiz thank you